we as Konomani, as the victims and survivors of apartheid, we thought it will be better to do this drama so that our children cannot forget what happened that day. Just to remember where we come from up till here and from here forward. That's what we expect from our people to speak out and be healed. What's important is that the United Nations comes back to this place, this place that we commemorate on the 21st of March as the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. That we remind ourselves that it is because of Sharpeville that this day is commemorated. For South Africa, of course, it's National Human Rights Day. But for the rest of the world, it's the elimination of racial discrimination. And we are seeing today that the scourge of racism persists. And in a way, coming back to this place is a reminder of the journey traveled and what still remains to be done. We have no freedom of movement. We are restricted to one place. Wherever you go, you must carry a pass. In your pass, there were rules where you belong, where you stay. When you move from the place of your abode, you have to take a permit where you go. We had nowhere to go. We just have to accept what the, the white men said. The challenges that emerged from that era still remain with us today. We see a lot of inequality uh, in this country. We see a lot of challenges still with issues around race and racism. But I think what's important is for the youth to understand that they can build on that history, that they can be progress, and that if you look back uh, that far back and to see where we have come today, one can realize that there is a journey traveled and they can build on that experience to really address their current uh, challenges of today. most unfortunately, I twelve years. March month means a lot to us. It's the month where our people were killed. I became emotional. Sorry. I'm saying sorry again. Because I remember those days. But I can say it's better so that I can take out the anger then I can, so that I can become. Never again should it happen in this place, never again should it happen in South Africa, and never again should it happen in the world.